Well, my story really begins with adoption. The pastor who uh, was running this center, this clinic, uh, came to my parents and said, so there's this child that's been born, and uh, he was born three months premature. My dad said that he could actually hold me in the palm of his hand. But being a child of cerebral palsy, I uh, obviously there were things that came along with that, and that one of those things being that I wore braces on my legs, and of course, kids can be cruel, and there were, there were comments made, and um, just remember feeling like I was constantly being reminded that um, I was different. I remember being uh, like 15 years old or 16 years old, and, and my parents buying my brother a car, and, and not buying me a car, and, and really feeling like, whether it was true or not, really feeling like, Oh, like the reason they must have given my brother a car and didn't give me a car was because um, I'm adopted. Clearly, that must be because they don't love me more than, uh, as much as they love my brother and uh, or my sister. The way that I was, that I viewed myself, the lies that I was telling, uh, had a profound impact on the way that I viewed myself and the ways that I viewed uh, others and the ways that I. I viewed God, because I just felt like if my parents don't love me, if, if um, people around me don't love me or accept me, then how in the world is a perfect God going to love me and accept me? And I remember having interactions with people or talking to people at church or wherever it was and thinking in my head, this person hates me, this person hates me, this person hates me, over and over and over in my head, and for no, really no reason. So I would, I would reject myself for others before... Um, that they had a chance to reject me. And, uh, and so the last couple of years have been sort of this process for me of, of uh, replacing these lies that I've told myself uh, with, with the truth of who God is and the truth of um, who I am in light of who God is. In 1 Peter 2.9 it says that we're a chosen people verse goes on to say that he's called us out of marvel, uh, out of darkness and into his marvelous light. And for me, that's just an amazing reminder that even though uh, I was adopted, uh, even though I wore braces on my legs, even though um, I always thought that I was weird or always um, believed lies, uh, there's a, a real God up in heaven uh, who loves me and who has called me out of darkness and into his wonderful life.